give you all the glory Lord We give you all the praise Let's make him feel welcome Praise God Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord The Bible says let everything that have breath praise you the Lord Why don't you shout unto the Lord Come on shout unto the Lord if you know he's worthy, give him the highest praise of hallelujah. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. The Lord is great and greatly to be praised. I said the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. I said the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. My God. Ah. I feel the presence of the Lord in this place. We honor each and every one of you. We honor the spirit of the Lord in this place. You may be seated in the presence of God. We thank God for you and you and you. We thank God that we're back home again. We are not strangers. We are not visitors, but we are home in the body of Christ in the kingdom. Hallelujah. How many know it's about kingdom? It's about the kingdom. I want to know something before I get started. How many come with an earnest expectation to receive something from the Lord? And one thing about it, it's like you go to the bank. No deposit, no return. So if you come to receive something from the Lord, that means you have to give something to the Lord other words, what did you bring to the king? Ooh. Don't you know you can't come into the presence of the king first unless he beckons you. But when you come, you ought to. Br you need to. Hallelujah. You got to bring something to the king. How many about a praise unto God almighty? Huh? Come on, come on. Put it together. Give it to him. That's why we're here, to give him praise, to glorify, to magnify the name of the Lord. My God, let me get started. My clock is running, but praise God. We're glad about the spirit of God. We thank God for the bishop. Praise God. Pastor Alice, come on, come on, your bishop. <laughs> precious man in the kingdom, in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. My precious queen, praise God. Apostle D, amen, praise God. We love the Lord. We love God's people. We esteem you and your respected places. Hallelujah. Let me get into the word of God. Um, you know, this is different for us to, to go back to back to back, but how many know God is always right on time? He's always right on time. And, you know, and last year, and I said what we would uh, hear last year, and the Lord had given us a theme last year in the four words were uh, manifestation, inspiration, operation, and elevation. And we, we talked about that last year. And, you know, the God that we serve, he did just that last year in the kingdom, in the body, and in our lives. And we were looking at the program today, and we understand that your theme is manifestation of what? The kingdom. Uh, the things that are made known to us in the kingdom. So what the Lord had placed in our spirit, and we're just going to give you a snapshot of that, if the Lord said the same. What the Lord has placed in our spirit for this year, what we've been dealing with is alignment. Alignment. And that's what we talked about uh, a little bit this morning. I'm just laying the groundwork. Pray with me now. I'm laying the groundwork. Alignment. And we're going to talk about a little about seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And guess what? Everything else will be added unto you. But if I give a thought or a theme for this year for us, it's alignment, assignment, and anointed. So in other words, we have to align up with God to receive our assignment. And surely he's going to anoint you for the assignment 
that he has given to you. And how many know their purpose? How many know their assignment? Hallelujah. Amen. If you know your purpose and your assignment, huh? all right. Well, if you don't know it, guess who got the assignment for you? It's God Almighty. But you got to seek him first to understand your assignment. Let's talk a little bit about alignment. And I'm just going to preface this. Help me, Holy Ghost. As we talk about uh, Matthew 6 and 33. Matthew 6 and 33. Put that up for me. Because I'm going to be rolling through these scriptures. But seek ye what? Seek ye what? Seek it when? What do you seek it? The kingdom of God and what else? And his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So previously in the scripture, he's talking about, don't worry about your clothes. Don't worry about your food. Don't worry about it. If I'm providing for the sparrow, if I'm providing for the birds, how surely I'm going to provide for you. Some may know him as Jehovah Jireh. The Lord is our provider. So the author is writing, but seek ye first the kingdom of God. People, if we want the manifestation of the kingdom of God, guess what? You have to what? Seek the kingdom of God. But we have to understand there's three things that are relevant to seeking the kingdom. I'll give you these three points. Number one, prioritize. Number two, organize. And number three, discipline. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prioritize, organize, and discipline. But the Bible says, seek ye first, what? The kingdom of God. So we have to have in our priority the kingdom of God being what? Being first. Amen. Don't you know in our walk of life, there's so many things that can uh, uh, get us off focus from seeking the kingdom first. Amen. Sometimes our family, sometimes our job, sometimes different responsibilities that we have will get us off focus of what? Seeking first the kingdom of God. So we have to prioritize. We have to identify what our priorities are. And as citizens of the kingdom, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto us. Hallelujah. First things first, we got to organize. Some people make a priority list. When you, when, you, when you go shopping, you may make a priority list so you don't forgive something. But in this way, we have to have a priority list. But seeking the kingdom of God first must be number one. How many know we can't live without the Lord? How many know we can't do anything without the Lord? We can't even breathe without the Lord. We can't praise without the Lord. We can't walk without the Lord. We can't talk without the Lord. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Number three, discipline. In other words, this discipline must be what? Self-imposed. It's not somebody imposing discipline on you. The bishops can't impose the dis discipline on you to pray. Uh, we can teach you how. We can teach the pattern of living of uh, the biblical principles, but you have to self-discipline yourself to seek the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. If we want to see the manifestation of God, we have to make up in our mind, in our heart, and in our spirit that I'm going to seek first the kingdom of God. So once we get to the point that we understand that we will seek first the kingdom of God, I believe we will have our priorities in order. Let me say priorities. So understanding, if I share this, you know, once we seek the kingdom, we have to understand what the kingdom is. The kingdom has what? Surely a king. Hallelujah. And the king has all authority in the kingdom. And the king is not only king, but he is Lord. He owns everything. How many know the Bible said in Psalm, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And all they that dwell in it, we belong to who? The Lord. I'm talking to the citizens now. Hallelujah. I'm talking to the citizens that have a desire to seek. The How many people really have a desire to see the manifestation of God? So if we have a desire to see the manifestation of God, we have to align ourselves with the provision of God. We have to align ourselves with the kingdom of God. 
Let me move on. Understanding the kingdom has a king. The king has a territory. The earth is a territory. Let me say this. You know, there was a fall in the garden. Hallelujah. And God said, in the garden when he created man, he said, let us create man in what? Our image. And, and apostle, you preached on that. The purpose was to what? Be fruitful and multiply. And do what? Take dominion. We as citizens of the kingdom need to readdress our mindset of who we are in the kingdom and start taking dominion. Once we take dominion, praise God, and understand if we seek the kingdom first, we won't be so much off focus on other things. Amen. We'll dominate. We'll take the kingdom and the purpose of God hallelujah wanting us to dominate he needs some citizens praise God you know the kingdom anytime you look at a kingdom what they did they would take over uh, their government would take over that place that they went to other other words they were what colonized amen so the colony would be a reflection of the kingdom and now if we make it relevant to the kingdom, to your word that it says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? Where? On earth as it is in heaven. So the purpose that Christ was, he came, praise God, hallelujah, to make his kingdom the reflection of heaven, to make it here where? On earth. Other words, thy kingdom come, other words, that the reflection of heaven be manifested here on earth. Why? Because of the fall of man. But now Jesus came to restore the dominion. He came to restore the authority. He came to restore the power. But he needs some citizens in the kingdom that are going to obey the constitution, the word of God to get the job done. Guess who those citizens are? Amen. And the Bible said he has made us what? Kings and, and what? Priests. Don't you know you are royalty? My God. Oh, something. Oh, we serve the king of kings, right? We serve the Lord of lords, but we are royalty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How did you get your royalty? Get uh, up here for me. St. John 3. Three, St. John three and three. But you must be born again. You are born. The king is born into royalty. Not voted in, hallelujah, but born. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except the man be born again. Now look at here. <laughs> Pastor D, you said something the other day. Look at here. Except it born in, you can't even see the king. I ain't talking about entering. I'm talking about seeing. Not looking. See, we are so much around looking for everything, seeking everything, but we ought to be seeking the kingdom. He said you must be born again even to see the kingdom. I'm talking about with your spiritual eye to see the kingdom. Hallelujah. And our natural eye, we may be dressed up just, just with all fine apparel, but in the spiritual sense, hallelujah, you must be born again. You cannot even see the kingdom unless you're born. How many born again believers in here? Amen. Give God a hand clap of pray. So if you're born again and you seek the kingdom, you understand the ramifications of the kingdom, hallelujah, that you are citizens of the kingdom. So you are a community of subjects and our main objective as citizens should be and is to what? To please God. Amen. How many want to please God? How many really want to please God? See, we have to have a desire to understand our position that we Please God. Hallelujah. Understand as citizens, hallelujah, we have privileges, we have rights, we have benefits, hallelujah. And in this kingdom, praise God, he's going to take care of us. Don't worry about anything because he will provide. As I said earlier this morning, in the kingdom, there has to be a change of mindset. In other words, from religion to a kingdom mindset. Hallelujah. Religion is what man does until he finds the kingdom. We do things religiously over and over and over again. 
Religion prepares man to leave the earth, but kingdom empowers man to dominate in the earth. That's why we got to seek the kingdom so we can dominate in the earth. The pattern and the plan has not changed, praise God. The only thing that changed was sin in the garden. But Jesus came back, praise God, to restore, hallelujah, this earth, to colonize the earth that it looked like heaven. Praise God, as he uses the citizens of God. Religion, it focuses on heaven, but kingdom focuses on earth. Religion is reaching up to God, but kingdom of God is coming down to man. That's why we say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We want the will of the Lord to be done where? In earth, praise God. Not only in this earth, but in this earth. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God be done in this earth. And I'm inclined to believe if we continue to seek first the kingdom of God if we seek the righteousness of God if we seek the truth of God if we seek the peace of God if we seek the nature of God hallelujah the nature of God but here it is the Bible explains that the nature of God is in where in you well that the 17 and 21 that we had before um Luke 17 and 21. Put that up for me, please. Other words, the nature of God. God said, let us create man in who? An hour. Well, who is the hour image? The image of God. Now look at what does the image of God look like? How, but let us create man in our image image in the reflection of God so if he created you and I we know what it's talking about Adam but you and I being the offspring in the image of God it said the kingdom of God is within you other words God and creation cannot separate himself from his glory my God whoo he can't separate himself from his glory Hallelujah. So in the creation, he put his glory where? Everything you need is already in there. Hallelujah. If Christ live in you, that means the glory of God is where? In you. That's why the writer says, seek ye first the kingdom. Hallelujah. But we have to identify with the king to see the manifested power of the king on earth. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom. Hallelujah. Now, we want to understand. Other words, we must be born again. We must seek the kingdom. Well, what are we seeking? What is the kingdom? Romans 14 and 17. Get that, please. And I'm going to move on. I got to add a little bit more. Because remember, we're talking about alignment, assignment, and anointing this morning. If we're talking about seeking first the kingdom, we are rightly aligning ourselves with the king. Hallelujah. But the kingdom of God. It's not what meat and drink. Hallelujah. Doesn't matter what you eat and what you drink. All that's going down to the drought. Hallelujah. But the kingdom of God is the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God is the peace of God. The kingdom of God is joy in the hope. My God. It's something about having a Holy Ghost, but it's another thing to have joy in the Holy Ghost. So in other words, people of God, if we have the Holy Ghost, surely we got joy. Somebody to say hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is my God, is my strength. Now, wait a minute. The joy of who? Is, well, wait a minute. The joy, not your joy. L let me talk. The joy of the Lord is my, we had something to celebrate, people. I'm, I'm happy because I had joy. Now, understand this. I want you to understand the joy of the Lord. Uh, last week we testified, it was uh, um, um, last week, praise God, we were able to retire from our secular job of almost 40 years, praise God. 40 years, hallelujah. I was joy, my God, oh, I was joy, praise God. I ran around the church, then I got tired. Why? Because that was my joy. But when you get the joy of the Lord, <laughs> When you get into the presence of God, the joy of the Lord is your strength. It don't matter what come, what go. If you just offer up a praise unto God Almighty and say, hallelujah, God be glorified. 
That's the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord when we obey his word. He is pleased when we obey. This is an acronym I want to throw in there. Focus. Focus. If the people of God, if the citizens of God would just stay focused. F, if we stay faithful. O, if we stay obedient. C, committed to the covenant that we made with God. How many know God always holds true to his part of the covenant? You, desiring an understanding of his perfect will, thy kingdom come, his perfect will to be done in our lives. How many want the perfect will of God be done in our lives? S, always, 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 we must remain in a place of sacrifice and submission. Stay focused. Let me move. My time is moving. Let me move. But we must have a change of mindset. But it is necessary that we understand as Romans 14 and 17 said, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. It's something about if you seek the face of God, hallelujah, if you have a desire in your heart to get in the presence of God, I believe the joy that comes from God will overtake you. I believe the joy of God will overflow in you. I believe the joy of God will take precedence in your life. Hallelujah. Perhaps somebody needs more joy. God's got it. Hallelujah. Perhaps somebody needs more strength. God's got it. I'm talking about spiritual joy and spiritual strength. Amen. Alignment. Now let me shift gears just a little bit because we need to seek ye first. Now, alignment, let's talk about assignment. And I believe it's an indicator in the scripture how God wants us to align, but he gives everybody an assignment praise God in the church we have assignments amen surely in the kingdom we have assignments because the church is a part of the kingdom but one thing hallelujah praise God for those those people those young people those people that gave their heart unto Jesus Christ as Lord praise God for that <laughs> hallelujah but now you took the first taking the first step of aligning yourself so you gotta seek the kingdom but one thing that we want to bring notice and understand to the body, that it's a war going on. How many believe that? It's a war going on. Do y'all believe that? Are you going through anything? See, we don't recognize the war until we get saved. Hallelujah. The heat gets turned up when you get saved. Why is it a war going on? I'm going to borrow something. Uh, let's go to uh, Revelation 12. I got to tie this in 20 minutes. Revelation. 12th chapter. Revelation 12. And let me begin with him. That's why it's a war. Because he was cast out. Now he's where? Read. Next. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation, my God, and the kingdom of of our God and the power of Christ of his Christ for the accuser of the brethren is cast down which accused them before God day and night he's accusing you before God day and night it's a war going on next and they overcame him by what <laughs> by the blood hallelujah of the lamb and the what word of their testimony how many got a testimony hallelujah because the blood is applied to the doorpost of your life and you sought the kingdom of God you praise God Hallelujah! you've aligned yourself with the kingdom of God now you got an assignment hallelujah but we are overcomers by what the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony I want to know has anybody ever been healed Anybody in here ever been healed? Anybody ever been delivered? 
Anybody ever been touched, praise God, restored in their mind, hallelujah, raised up? If anybody in here saved, you got a testimony. Because it is Jesus that brought you out of darkness into this marvelous light. But we are overcome by the blood and by the word of our testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. Next. Therefore rejoice, and ye that dwell in the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. He's angry because you are saved. He's angry, praise God, because you're a child and a citizen of the kingdom. Having great wrath, knowing he got a short time. Next. Y'all got to see this. And when the dragon, he saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. Y'all know who the man child is? Read. Hallelujah. And the woman was given two wings. Hallelujah. Nourished for a time. Read. Next. Next. And the serpent, praise God. Hallelujah. Carried away. The woman was carried away. Saved by the, by, by, by the flood. Read. Next. And the earth helped the woman. Hallelujah. And swallowed up the flood. Next. And the dragon was angry and went to make war with who? Well, who is the remnant of that sea? Is you, the remnant, hallelujah, of the sea, which keep the commandments of God and have, you just said you had a testimony. We got a testimony of Jesus Christ. Amen. So the war is with those, hallelujah, the remnant of the sea. We keep the commandments of God because we are a part of the kingdom and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. How many know Jesus Christ is Lord? How many know Jesus Christ is our everything? Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is love. Jesus Christ is our salvation. Jesus Christ is our redeemer. Jesus Christ is our justifier. Jesus Christ is our sanctifier. Jesus Christ is our everything. Jesus is Lord. He owns everything. Hallelujah. One more. Next. And I stood in the sand and saw the beast rise up, having seen the head of ten horns upon him on ten crown. Hallelujah. And the head name of blasphemy. Now, let me go to Ephesians. Just want to present this. We're getting out of here. Ephesians. Give me the sixth chapter. <laughs> Since we understand there's a war going on, but we have to align ourselves by seeking the kingdom. Hallelujah. Now, understand there's a war going on. We got an assignment. Now, look what Paul says. He said, you have an assignment. How many know when, when you are enlisted in the army, you have a what? An assignment. You have to go to basic training, but you have an assignment. And with that assignment comes an, a destination. Let's go down to, let's pick it up about 10, 6 and 10. See what that said. Finally. Somebody say finally. finally. See, as you got your, your, your marching orders, finally be strong in the Lord. And in the what? Power of his might. Hallelujah. Now understanding Paul is in prison when he's writing this letter and he's identifying with these Roman soldiers that are out there guarding him. Now, he says, finally, he's writing this uh, letter uh, back, hallelujah, from prison to the church at Ephesus. But he said, finally, saints of God, finally, people of God, finally, citizens of God, hallelujah, you have an assignment. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. How many know we got to be strong in the Lord? We identify it's a war going on. Hallelujah. And the enemy has been cast out of heaven and now it's come to mage war against you. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Next. Put on whoo, the whole armor of God for what purpose? That we may be able to do what? Against the wiles of who? We already identified he's been cast out and he's trying to wage war. He's waging war with the people of God. That's why it's so important that we got to seek first the kingdom of God. We have to be citizens of the most high God to receive the benefits of the most high God. But Paul said, put on the whole arm of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Next. For we wrestle not against what? But against what? Principalities. 
uh-huh, rulers of darkness, of what? This world, against spiritual wickedness, where? In high, my God, hallelujah, put on the whole arm of God, and he identifies this one thing about waging war, you got to know what you're fighting against, hallelujah. I'm not fighting against you. You're not fighting against me. How do you, but it's a spiritual battle going on, trying to keep you all focused from seeking first the kingdom of God. But now he said, once you've aligned, you have an assignment to put on the whole armor of God. Why? That we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. How many know the devil is real? But one thing about it, how did Jesus got up out of that grave with all power and heaven and earth in his name and in his hand and he has dispensed that power to the citizens of the kingdom. How many know you got power? Are y'all confident that you got power? Let's go read. Let's read. Wherefore, look at Paul. He said, take unto you what? Not partially, but you got in your assignment, hallelujah, you got to take on what? The whole armor of God. You got to be covered. You got to be protected. For what purpose? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. How many know or believe we're in the last days? The Bible speaks about that. The last days, men shall be lovers of themselves more than lovers of God. Heady, high-minded, truce breakers, hallelujah. We're in the last days, but we need to take on the whole arm of God that we might be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, what? Stand. When everything comes against you, you got to what? Stand. Look at Paul. Next scripture. Stand therefore with your loins girt about with truth. Hallelujah girt your loins hallelujah the belt of truth you know the belt it holds everything in position hallelujah the truth of God holds everything in position Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life no man coming to the father but by me you got on my God the belt of truth no doubt the Roman soldiers that belt they had different type of, of weaponry on that belt, praise God, as a Roman soldiers as they were going to war. But we as people of God in the kingdom of God, as we seek the kingdom of God first, we got to have our loins girt about with the truth of Jesus. Having on that breastplate of what? Righteousness. The righteousness of God. Hallelujah. We've been made right with God through the cross. We have been made right with God through the blood of the Lamb. Next. And your feet shod, my God, with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, those Roman soldiers, they had like a, a spikes on their shoes and, 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 their, and the weaponry and their shoes were covered on top. But one thing about it, they had the spikes so they could stand. Hallelujah. In battle, the people of God, we need to what? Stand. With the peace of God, don't you know the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will enable you to stand and weather the storm. It will enable you to stand and weather the trials. It will enable you to stand in every aspect of battle. Next. Above all, taking the shield of faith where you're able, hallelujah, to quench what? The fiery dart. It's a war going on of the devil. Without faith, guess what? We know what? It's impossible to please God. How many want to please God? Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Quench the fiery darts of who? The wicked. The wicked. The darts are coming, but we got that shield of faith. Next. And the helmet of salvation, which is what? The sword of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which is what? The word of God. So in other words, all right, the line. Now we got our assignment. So we have to put on the whole armor of God that we might be able to. The helmet of what? Salvation. Hallelujah. The helmet has to be protected. How many know the mind is the battlefield? 
Hallelujah. In heavenly places. Hallelujah. The enemy wants to attack what? Your mind. So we got to have that helmet of salvation. Praise God. Knowing that we've been uh, sanctified. Knowing that we've been justified. Hallelujah. By the power of God. The helmet of salvation. And most of all. Now take notice of these. All these weapons that they were talking about. Most of all. All those weapons were defensive weapons. Breastplate. Loins, how do you helmet? But now, the sword of the spirit, which is what the word of God. I need to come down. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. How many got the sword? How many got the sword? See, the word of God got to be where in in you. The word of God, because we understand that the war is happening in the unseen realm. So we got to fight the war with spiritual weapons. We cannot fight this war with carnal weapons. So in other words, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. It seems like in the church, hallelujah, there's a lot often uh, in the U.S., it seems like in the church, it's a lot of just foolishness going on, just bickering. You don't do it this way. Or I don't do it that way. Perhaps we can't fellowship this way. Well, let's just do it God's way. Amen. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh to the Father but by me. But it's something about that sword of the Spirit. Now, the Roman soldier, he had a sword, somewhat like a 24 inches, but he had a sword, which is a dagger. Hmm. We got to have that dagger, the sword of the spirit. See, because when you get in close combat with the enemy, praise God, you can pull that dagger. Woo! Woo! The word of God. I mean, it was quick. It's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. You stick that in me. Back up off of me, devil, because I I got the sword of the spirit. I got the word of God and I'm going to present the word of God knowing no weapon formed against me shall prosper, oh God. You have made my feet like hinds feet. I'll stand in heavenly places. Can't stop what God's got. People, we got to identify. Seek the kingdom. Put on your armor. Seek the kingdom. Put on your armor because it's a war going on. It's time is out for people being held back. Praise God. People being held back. Hallelujah. But don't you know greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So you got to bring a praise and offer up a praise unto God Almighty because the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. I wish I had some citizens that was enlisted in the army that want to fight this battle. It's a spiritual battle it's not a natural battle and begin to take things that rightfully belong to us we were created to dominate but only way we can dominate is by the word of God through the word of God through the sword of the spirit through the anointing of God because the power of God is upon you the strength of God is upon you the anointing my God the enablement of God hallelujah he didn't give you the weapons not to be able to use them my God, don't you know, my praise, is a, my praise is a weapon. How many got a praise? I want to know how many got a praise. I know the singers got a praise because you from the tribe of Judah. Let Judah go up first. Let's let Judah offer up a praise first. My God, let Judah go up first. If Judah just goes up first and you get a praise down in your belly, you have the authority just to seek the kingdom. How many want to just seek the kingdom? How many are victorious, oh God, in seeking the kingdom? Come on, stand to your feet for a moment. Just stand to your feet. I got about three minutes. I want you to go to God. Hallelujah. I want you to use your weapon of praise. I want you to reach way down in your diaphragm. Fill up your diaphragm with the praises of God because when praises go up, the blessings of the Lord. How many need a blessing today? I need a blessing. How do when you begin to praise God, I begin to get blessed. When you praise God, I'm blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. My basket and my store is blessed. There's an overflow of blessing because I'm using the weapon of God. How I'm arming myself likewise. I got the sword of the spirit. Praise God. When the enemy coming, you're too close, enemy. My God, you need to bag up because I'm giving you the sword of the spirit. I'm waging war in the heaven. I'm pulling down stronghold 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to pull down every stronghold, everything that impedes our progress in the world. Why don't you offer up a praise unto God? Come on, people, just begin to praise God. Just begin to magnify God. Oh, magnify. Come on. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. When you praise, uh, praise God is affecting the atmosphere. When you pray, something changing in the unseen realm because you owe it. Men would just praise the Lord. Come on. Come on, people. Yeah, come on. Two minutes. Just praise God. Come on. Don't my God. I'm not looking. Don't worry about the screen. Worry about what you're praising God just because of who he is. He wants to do something magnificent in you. My God, he's aligning you. He's assigning you. Oh, my God, you're patty caking God. You got to get real with God. My God, you got to be real. You got to be real. God is looking for some real citizens. God is looking for some real soldiers. God is looking, my God, to pour out of his spirit. He's looking to the fire. Of, my God, somebody needs the fire of God. Somebody looking for the fire of God. Somebody looking for the power, the engago power, the energy of God. Hallelujah. The truth of God, the anointing of God. Who's looking for it? Who's looking for it? My God, the spirit of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. This is a place. Deliverance. Hallelujah. Deliverance and Zimmerman. This is a place of deliverance. This is a place that the righteous are free. This is a place huh, that the joy of the Lord Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. I sense in my spirit. There's a sense in my spirit that somebody needs more. That somebody needs a touch. There's a sense in my spirit that somebody needs the fire. There's a sense in my spirit that somebody needs the anointing. There's a sense in my spirit that somebody needs to put on the whole armor. My God. The storm passing over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. Can we agree? Can we agree there's more for you, son? Can we agree there's more for you, son? There's more. <laughs> My God, have your loins girt about with truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. But get that word of God. That word, it pierces, it divides. Somebody needs more of the word. Hallelujah. 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 I want y'all to see God. Something's happening. I got a sense in my spirit. Something's happening. I want y'all to see God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here on assignment. Hallelujah. We're here on assignment. So we need to align with God. We've been sent here on assignment. My God. Out of all the countries in Africa, we were sent here. We're here on assignment. We're here on assignment. Hallelujah. Assignment. I, we've been assigned to bless my God. We've been assigned to bless you. We've been assigned to lift you up. We've been assigned to encourage you. We, we've been assigned, my God, to stand in the gap for you. We've been assigned to intercede for you. We've been assigned to lift up the blood stained better. We've been assigned by God. Shataroboko. Hey, my mama. Hallelujah. Hey, Come on, come on, let's worship. Worship is a weapon. I can sing in the spirit. Come on. Something's happening in the unseen realm. Hallelujah. Let it go. It's through the worship. It's through the praise that we see the manifestation of God in the kingdom through the worship. It's through the praise that we see the manifestation of the kingdom of God. Through your worship and through your praise. Through your worship and through your praise. There's more. I know it's unusual. It's unusual. It's unusual. Hallelujah. But the kingdom, hallelujah. Once you experience the kingdom, it's not the norm of religion. Once you experience the kingdom, hallelujah, it's the uncommon position. Once you experience the kingdom, hallelujah. 
Uh, I want to pray for you, brother. I want to pray for you. Can you come? I want to pray for you. Yes, you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. My God, my God, the anointing of God the fire of God stir up the gift of God stir it up, stir it up stir up the word of God stir up the truth of God in your loins, stir it up, stir it up stir it up, put on the whole arm of God that you stand against the wiles of the devil, it's a war going on, it's a war going on, hallelujah I'm speaking a release from the kingdom from the, th my God it's a throne room release when I lay hands on you, you're going to feel the fire. The fire of God going to erupt in your belly like never before. The fire of God. Hey, in the name of Jesus, as you come with earnest expectation of the fire of God, of the truth of God, of the word of God, of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God suffered violence. Hmm. The kingdom of God suffered violence. He's looking for true worshipers. True worshipers. In the name of Jesus. he told Lazarus come forth my God come forth <laughs> come forth out of your belly shall flow rivers oh, it's a word in your belly son come forth be instant in season I said be instant shock a release say hey. a release my God hey a release in the power in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. 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 Can I have three minutes? Can I, can I have three minutes? Listen, people. Listen, people. Come here, Apostle D. Come here, Apostle D. People. Listen, listen clearly. We don't take this lightly. Our assignment. Hallelujah. And the first time I was over here, the Lord showed me about four years ago. He showed me the first time. You know, my wife been coming for about 15 years, but she, he showed me the first time I came over here. He said, go where I send you and present my word. Don't take nothing with you, my God. He said, if the people don't receive you, they're not receiving me. He said, just shake the dust. And me being in a country, I didn't know nothing about no red dirt, no red dust. But in my mind's eye, in the spiritual imagery which God showed me, shake that shake the dust. But I say we've been sent here on a mission. Out of all the countries, we've been sent here to Kenya, all throughout Kenya. But here, deliverance in Kenya. You ought to give God some praise. If you believe that God has anointed us to bless you, hallelujah, if you believe that with all sincerity, we got something to pass to you. The blessing of God. The encouragement of God. As Paul, hallelujah, wrote to the Ephesian church, my God, his love in the Lord for the people of God. We have so much love for you. Your pastors, for you, brother. For you, brother. For you, brother. These pillars. Oh, oh, I don't quite remember the name, but I know pillars. I know the pillars.
pillars, Satan no boko. The pillars yeah. that'll stand, my God. Have you done all you can do to stand? Stand, my yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand yeah. against the wiles of the devil. Yes. Stand, pillars. Stand, pillars. I'm speaking to y'all. You know who you are. Stand, pillars. Stand. Your feet are prepared. You got on the breastplate of righteousness. Stand. There's young people. Hallelujah. I'm speaking specifically to the young people. They had an occasion last night here. They were just praising God. Joyous. Joyous occasion. Praise. When are y'all here? Any y'all young people here last night? It's a joyous occasion. But you young people that are here under the sound of my voice. God wants to elevate you like never before. That Joshua generation, they don't fear nothing. They got a praise, hallelujah, down in their belly. They don't fear man. We don't quite understand them. But uh, my God, let the God of our salvation, let us rejoice with them. I'm just going to ask to come. Those young that know Anybody, come. Come be blessed. Yes, but come. Come, 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 come. Yes, come. Listen, I know this is unusual. I got permission from the bishop. I know this is unusual, but this is a move of God. 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 This is the anoint. Come quickly. This anointing of God. Hallelujah. See, something begins to happen as we were sent as apostles. We were sent here to bless you. I'm talking about the power of God. I'm talking about the anointing of God. My God, Peter had that pass by blessing. I'm talking about a pass by blessing, a pass by anointing of God uh, that's going to endure you. Come quickly. With your heart to receive, with your spirit to receive, yes, just begin to say yes unto the Lord. I know as many of you, just begin to say yes unto the Lord. Just begin to say yes. Young people, open up your mouth. How do you make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Open up your mouth. Use that weapon of praise. Open up your mouth. Use that weapon of praise. Open, open, open. Give God thanks. Give God praise. They're the outpouring right now. They're the outpouring right now. They're the outpouring right now. You're anointed of God. You're anointed of God. You're anointed of God. Seek first the kingdom. I'll seek no other God. I'll seek the kingdom. I'll get joy in seeking the kingdom. I'm refreshed by seeking the kingdom. I'm released by seeking the kingdom. I'm empowered by seeking the kingdom. I'm increased by seeking the kingdom. Hallelujah. I'm vibrant in the spirit. I pray that the fire of God, I call down the fire of God from the throne room of heaven. I call down the fire of God to overtake your people, overtake your young people, overtake this church, overtake their ministry. Oh God, as they put on the whole Oh, arm of God as they stand against the wiles of the devil. Shantaro Woko. They're the outpouring. Hallelujah. They're the outpouring. They're the fresh anointing. A fresh, a fresh, a fresh. My God. My God, we're uncovering the wells. My God, we're pulling back everything to cover up the well. It's been a release, my God. Flowing water. The fire shata, the fire kata, ukoto, the fire of God. Out of your belly shall flow city kata. Woo, shamba boko, heka, ha, shamba boko. The fire. Thank you for your anointing. Shata, the enablement, the spirit of God. Not by might, nor but by your spirit, by your spirit, ah, the fallen God, ah, shakato, iata, my God, fresh, quick, fresh, new, quick, fresh, new, the anointing of God, quick, fresh, new, stir up, stir up, stir up the gift, stir up the gift, stir up the fallow ground, stir up the gift of God. Ekoto rabahaya, shana na 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 mama moko te de de se, shiko na 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 manye he, anala boko. I call down the fire. Shandaloboko. 
Hey, the blessing of the Lord is here. The blessing of the Lord is here. The power of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. The spirit of the Lord is here. Yeah, the anointing of the Lord is here. The fire of the Lord is here. Use your weapons. Use your weapons. Use your weapons. Use your weapons. Use your weapon. Hallelujah. 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 God just wants to do a quick thing. He wants to just do a quick move right here, right now. We don't have to touch you, but the Holy Spirit can touch you and meet you right where you are. And as he's calling forth the Joshua generation to arise in and on the earth in this season, because he needs those that are not scared to go into the battle. And he's calling you young folks to go in and to pull down and to take dominion over all the things of past generations that may have failed to be able to gain their inheritance. But God says to use the creativity, your imagination, and begin to push through and break out of the old way, the old mindsets, and begin to allow God to use what he's given to you to express kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. Just begin to lift your voice. Just begin to believe God for the new move that he's doing right now in the midst of his people. Just begin to say, Abba Father, I believe you for an exploit in my life. I believe you for a greater anointing. I agree for you to bind up and to loose things in my life that has held me in captivity. For today is the day of salvation. God says that if you trust him and believe him, that he will do what you're asking. All you have to do is cry out unto him, and he heeds unto his promises. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for these young people. We thank you for this breed, oh God, that you are raising up in this region. Father God, we thank you for the fresh oil that you're pouring in and out of them. Father God, now give them the faith to believe, Father, that that which you have placed within them is enough of the capacity, Lord God, to bring forth a change in this earth. Father, we call a movement of God right now like never before. Lord God, just breathe into them in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for it. We bind the spirit of fear. 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 Rokia. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Let them go. For they shall take cities in the name of Jesus. And as their voice begins to speak, a hey, glory. As their voice begins to speak, we thank you that signs and wonders and miracles will follow them. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And we believe you for the asking. In Jesus' name. Now somebody shout and say thank you. 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 Say thank you. Hallelujah. the glory Lord we give
give you all 